Today, a bounce back day for a couple of Mid-Illini softball pow powers. Glad to be back in the ball diamond after losing yesterday. Metamore upset by peaking yesterday, then bounce back today versus Lincoln. Kerrigan Hartnett right here. Nice piece of hitting goes right back up the middle. So that'll score a run for the Redbirds. Then it's going to be Lauren Riddle going right back up the middle. And that'll score another run for the Redbirds. Sydney Trentman was terrific in the circle for Metamora. She had seven strikeouts. And I want to show you a great defensive play right here. Kennedy Knee at second base makes this play look easy, but it's not. A terrific grab by her. Metamora gets a shutout for Zip. East Peoria Loyola playing on a gorgeous night. A doubleheader tonight. Twinight doubleheader. And boy, East Peoria brought the bats. Gracie Luna smoked a three-run homer to turn around game two for East Peoria. She was the only one swinging the, the stick. Meadow Terry with a double right here. Then Gabby Lane, an RBI hit. Down five zip. East Peoria rallied to win that second game 10-5. to five. They hit double digits in both games. A great sweep for EP. Illini Bluffs hosting Athens and the Illini Bluffs, well, they got a great one, two, three hitter. Sarah Finn is the freshman who's just clobbering home runs this year for Illini Bluffs. Meanwhile, Lily Hicks, another one of those great Hicks hitters for IB, hits a line drive shot right here. Zoe Eaton's going right down the line for extra bases right here for the Tigers. Illini Bluffs is going to win this game over Athens 11-6. Cora Ellison getting the job done with some big outs in the circle. IB wins it again 11-6. Let's head to Eureka. Eureka hosts Olympia. The game was supposed to be at Olympia. With the fire there, they moved the game to Eureka. This is not fire, but Fry, Gabby Fry, with the hit for Olympia. Check out the play by left fielder for Eureka, Elena Wetstein. Now, Wetstein never, never a doubt about this one. She knew she had it all the way. She's going to put a little snow cone on it, but never a doubt. <laughs> <laughs> that away, Elena. Meanwhile, Libby Schaefer splits the outfielders right here for a two-run double. Olympia scored 16 times and had a sweet 16 victory. Tremont visiting Tri-Valley, and the Turks come out swinging in the first inning. Olivia Avalos having a terrific year with the base hit right here. Then with the bases loaded, Maya Larengo. Bam. Grand bam. Grand slam, I believe they call it. A four-run homer for Larengo. She's all fired up, and... Maya gets the job done in the circle. She is your slugging star. She is your pitching star. Tremont's a winner, 16 to four. Way to go, Maya, over Tri-Valley. We head to Bloomington High now for a great night for track and field. Now we'll begin our highlights not with track, but field. Dunlap's Chelsea Wetzel beats the field to win the pole vault. Beautiful vault right there by Wetzel. Morton Cruz is in the four by 800. Emma, Emma Belsley gets him going. Avery Breaker. Sophie Kruger went around the lap twice, and then it's the anchor Tegan Beyer bringing the Potters home with a huge win in the 4x8. Bloomington Central Catholic's Nora Brady was the 1600 and 3200 winner. A great night for her. Peoria Rich was the team champion. Lena Jackson anchors the Knights winning 4x100 relay. A great night for the Knights of Peoria Rich was right next door. High school baseball, Bloomington hosts and peak. This was a wild one. Bloomington went up 10 to 5 in the game. Evan Reed right here will drive in Zach Spittle. Then it's going to be Addison Worthman driving in Tyler Dowling again. Bloomington had a 10 5 lead, but boy, Peking comes back. They rally in the seventh inning. Tate Schaefer having a great year for the Dragons drives in Scotty Jordan with the base hit. Then it's going to be Connor Drowns driving in Schaefer. Peking led 12 to 10. You know, Peking won 13 to 12 yesterday. Today's game is tied 12-12 when Parker Gilmore, the walk-off sack fly. Trey Thompson is coming home, and Bloomington is going to celebrate with Gilmore. Let's go throw some bucket of water on him, huh? Bloomington wins 13-12. Pekin might want to play 13-12 numbers in the lottery, huh? Back-to-back 13-12 -back games. That is bizarre. Tri-Valley hosting Tremont in baseball. We're going to start our highlights with Lucas Filarski using his bow and arrow for a double right there. Well, that wasn't the bow and arrow. Where, where's the bow and arrow? It's, it's, it's coming. Here, there it is. Yeah, well, there it is. Yeah. Uh, th then it's going to be the, the RBI base hit right here for Tri-Valley. Driving in Filarski as uh, the Vikings get on the board right there with a nice highlight. Jacob Bischoff, this football standout with the RBI double. But JT Kaiser gets just enough of this to drive in Alex Pappenhaus. And then check out the play by Caleb Edwards at the hot corner. Edwards snags the bad hop, gets the tag out, does a little spin for us. And a win, spin and win. Tremont wins it 6-3. Middle on ice soccer. I watched an entertaining game. Pekin hosting Washington. Zoe, Zoe Corma scored to peek it up 2-zip. Had a chance to put him up 3-zip. But Gracie Van Quetbecki with the 
Great save right here for Pekin. Kaitlin Beshorner to Taylor Freeman. Back to Beshorner for a pretty goal for Washington. Made it a 2-1 game, but Pekin hangs on with some great defense. Their team defense was terrific. Katie Coper, their keeper, makes a save right here. Great win for Pekin. They win it by a score of 2 to one. Hey, make your Saturday night plans right now to be here tomorrow night. We're rewinding the Metamora State Championship game that's coming up tomorrow night at 7 p.m. Danny Greaves will join us right here in studio. I can't wait to watch that game again with you.